Hey guys, back from PAX. This video is like two weeks late, I apologize. Anyways, I just mostly wanted to talk about, I'm probably gonna do just two, two or three videos about PAX. Was this fun? It was a fun time. There was a lot of VR, a lot of VR in uh, comparison to previous years. Um, one of the biggest PR, VR lines was Resident Evil 7, uh, which was, oh, it's it's not a game. It's not a demo. It was literally just you sitting in a chair being scared by something. I might put up the video for that in a little while. Uh, but the one game that I really wanted to talk about with you guys is a game called Blasters of the Universe. And this is a game that was made by a company from Toronto. And at first they were probably one of the quieter VR booths in the indie area. But then as I went back, oh, I was there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I kept going back there every day. And on Sunday, the line was, they had completely filled up their line for the whole day. And that was at two, and which was awesome because those guys really worked hard to make that game. Like just, they kept on letting people try it. They kept on talking to people. It was one of the funnest games I played because of this. Now, this video here, you'll see that it's actually a very, very simple game. It's a shooter. You're standing in one place. Not really. Okay, I'll take that back. You're not standing in one place. You are in one location, one very small little square, but you're able to move, traverse, walk back and forth, kneel, duck, move to the side to avoid all the blasters, and you got a shield, which is pretty sweet because there's a difference of shield. There's one that rebounds, there's one that's a big ass shield, and there's different guns. I lost track of how many times I actually tried this game. It was so fun. I had such a good time playing it. And if you guys have a VR or a headset, an HTC or a uh, Oculus Rift, it's all, it's, I think it's, um, it's an early access right now get it if i had the money i would buy a headset and do that too because that's it was honestly really fun i got so into it that i almost took out one of the developers anyways that's uh more so what i want to talk about i also got a mug um it's this checkpoint on it i had to get a new mug uh, i was gonna think about getting a shirt i got one that i'll probably wear in the next video but what I thought was really odd was how they didn't have a lot of shirts to choose from. Like, see, this is this is a shirt I bought when I first went to PAX uh, nine years ago, and I thought, you know, if I go ten times, on the tenth time I'll get a shirt, another shirt. So I'm really hoping they have more than four. They had four, and then the PAX Prime, 2016. Either way. Fun time, swag was very small, but the other video I'm gonna t uh, do is I'm actually gonna be giving away a few things that I got while at PAX, so make sure to check in for that video. See you guys later.